I am a dry rind gal myself. I really love how it's a little bit easier to handle. Also, you end up with extra crispy skin, which is my favorite. For a 14 pound turkey, you want about six tablespoons of coarse sea salt three tablespoons brown sugar. You can use light or dark here, whatever you have on hand. And then you have your freestyle ingredients. I have some Herbs de Provence, some dried rosemary thyme, and a little bit of lavender. I'll do two tablespoons of this. Then some black pepper. This you can just sort of eyeball. You want about a teaspoon or so. I love citrus this time of year, so I'm gonna use two lemons here and just zip the zest off. So this all needs to get mixed up. First, I'm gonna get my turkey in its place. I'm gonna mix this all together, then you'll start rubbing the turkey down. I tend to just sort of like put a little bit in a couple of spots. You also wanna go inside the turkey sure to get in every little nook and cranny. Particularly on a dry brine like this, um, the sugar helps with browning too, so the skin will not only get crispy because of the technique, but it'll be nice and brown. The easiest thing to do now is just to pop the turkey right into the roasting pan. It can go in the roasting pan, it could also go on a sheet tray lined with a wire rack. The important part is um, for there to be air circulation around the turkey so that the skin starts to dry out and that's what will give you the crispy skin. So the turkey will go in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. This allows the, the brine to work into um, the meat and then also for the skin to dry out a little bit. After about 24 hours, the turkey is ready to roast. Unlike a wet brine, you don't want to rinse a turkey that's been dry brined because it will just end up making the skin wet again. You do, however, want to go ahead and brush off any excess um, brine just to make sure that it won't burn while it's roasting. Also, before you roast, go ahead and dump out any liquid that's accumulated in the bottom of the roasting pan just to make sure that doesn't burn too because we did add sugar to the dry brine. So now it's ready to truss and roast. Your dry brining lesson is complete.